Hey there. So we're uh, back again and I uh, just want to highlight uh, another pack back question that uh, came in through this week. Uh, and this one is from uh, Eileen Mendez, who's asking, does the size of our police force actually impact crime rates? Uh, because it starts out, because based on the readings, right, if we're focused on deterrence and deterrence activities, you know, like, do we, does actually adding police deter more crime, right? And so this is an interesting question because police, are, you know, are big advocates for uh, force, right, to, uh, in terms of their budget, right? And if they ever get, like, a budget increase, they usually want to hire more officers, get more equipment, things like this. And we have this belief that um, if we focus on crime, or like, and if that's something important, then we need to have more people in place to prevent it, right? And historically, we have tended to believe the police are, you know, who we call in those circumstances, right? So we call the police if our neighbor is, you know, tweaking out and attacking, you know, their brother. Um, you know, we call them if, uh, you know, a shooting's involved, we call them for all this, right? And so, you know, but if we think about the nature of police, though, it's very reactive, right? They are called after a crime has occurred, right? And there's this time window where we're expecting police to, you know, kind of show up, right? So in those cases, then, if we're waiting on police and they are reacting to a crime that has already occurred, then the crime was not deterred in that sense, right? At the same time, right, you know, there are, are undoubtedly some people who are fearful of police and know that they can show up any time, you know, maybe if they, we know that they're downtown or near a CCTV camera, they could be seen or something like that. And if we see police in public, right, you know, like if you were approaching like a stop sign, you see a cop, you're probably going to, it's not like California roll that, right, you're probably going to like chill, you know, for a little bit and wait for that to happen. So there's a deterrent effect when we see officers, right. Um, and it's a little bit of a residual effect, right? Where we see that, you know, people will change their behavior because they saw a police officer somewhat recently and there's like this recency effect where we tend to think police are everywhere or something like that. And so, you know, we, we kind of have a situation where, you know, some people are deterrable in the, by police or the idea that there are a lot of police, right? But I think if, you know, if someone was, uh, like if I told you San Bernardino PD, you know, added 50 more officers, is anyone going to be like, oh, well, I wasn't going to commit crime or I wasn't going to commit crime, but now there's 50 more officers. Who knows, right? Because there's all kinds of allocations, right? It all depends on being uh, patrolled. It also relies on people calling the police if something's happening and you have to get caught, right? Um, so I think like a, a good answer to this question then is that there are going to be some people who are deterred by the idea that police are there, but that doesn't necessarily mean necessarily mean the force has to be bigger, right? Now, of course, we do want, you know, a large police force to investigate crimes, to administer traffic, keep things safe, to respond, you know, when, you know, a crime is occurring, to intervene in those circumstances. But in the sense of, like, are they the true crime preventative effect that we want to deter a crime before it happens? I think there is, you know, a lot of questions about that, you know. The literature on that, um, you know, tends to say that uh, police force size does not substantially impact uh, crime rates, right? Um, you know, now that may affect certain other things, right, such as traffic, right, which is a different thing than like crime prevention. Um, but you know, if you think about some of the crimes, like you know, that are that are that occur in private, right, some, something like a homicide, right, is in private, and the person who decides they want to commit homicide. Um, or, you know, is not likely to be deterred by an officer, right? Especially within a private selling. The same thing for like a sexual assault or credit card fraud or uh, prostitution, unless you see the officer and you may think like, oh, I should better, better keep it kill, keep it, keep it chill. In those instances and circumstances, right, you may have observed more of a deterrent effect, but I think it, you know, like, this is a great question just because you know, when we think about advocating and we see police managers, you know, advocating for more police, right? Why are they advocating for it? And is it, you know, actually going to be a deterrent effect? So I think this is a great question from uh, Eileen. Uh, thanks for submitting it. Thanks for sharing it. And I'll see you all next week.